All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, actually, during the time I'm, you know, like uh, getting ready to speak to you, uh, in the same time I'm having a little chat with the Muslim, uh, Muslim website, and I ask them questions about Allah. Actually, right now I'm speaking to them, I'm chatting with them, and the guy is struggling badly to answer me, "Who is Allah?" We start, as you see in the screen, the chat is still going. I ask him, uh, I got a question, who is Allah? How we know who is Allah? What is the word Allah means? I ask many Muslims, but they do not know. He answered, Allah is the name that God called himself. I said, but what that word mean? He said, in Arabic, it is derived from the word ilah it has meaning one of the famous is the independent that does not need anything and ev and everything else needs him then i said ilah is a word mean god as i know and has nothing to do with any of things you just said so allah is a name or a word mean ilah as god like pagan God he says sorry I did not explain well I said all right he said Ilah means the one who is worshipped uh-huh now the meaning change is it uh, it is the Arabic word for God I said okay but Ilah is the word coming from Ilah but you said it is a name if it is coming from the Ilah that's mean that it is not a name so can we call Buddha Allah? Interesting conversation. He said, no. Ilah is word Arabic for God, which can mean right or false God. Then I said, okay, then why you say the word Allah from the word Ilah? If Ilah can be false God, then Allah can be false God too. And now he gave me the last answer here. While Allah is the one true God, deserve to be worshipped, being uh, categorized with all uh, ultimate attribute. I said, okay, now I will answer him. Well, still, you did not tell me where Allah is coming from. You said, let me quote for him what he said to me. This guy is going to get dizzy. They don't know. So, Allah cannot be the only true God. Otherwise, why he is taking his name from pagan God name? Let us see what he will say. And by the way, I started the conversation a long time ago, but it takes forever for him to find, uh, you know, he is squeezing his head. Is the text guys clear? Is the text clear? I don't know. I remember before I spoke to a website like this before, and I asked him about the black stone. And I said to him, Why why are you Muslims because the black stone? He said, Because it's it's holy. And I said, Okay, and why it's holy? He said, Because the Prophet kissed it. I said, Why the Prophet kiss it? He goes, Because it's holy. <laughs> why it's why 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 it's holy because the Prophet kissed it. And why the prophet could say it because it's holy okay nice to meet you and look now he's you know like he uh, he is he's out of words hmm. let us see his timing let us see his timing
<clears throat> Allah means the one who deserves but you said it is coming from word Ilah and Ilah can be false God or a true God so how his name coming from something can be false <laughs> I'm very old. It's a nice conversation, isn't it? And this poor guy, his name is Ahmad, he is squeezing his head now. Okay. Let us change the topic. I told him, forget about the topic. Look, you do not know much. <laughs> the definition you said to me last, yeah. But you said this. So Allah... Stone. We quiz the stone to show obedience to Allah. Okay, what does stone have to do with obeying God? And how, if we kiss it, we obey Allah. Guys, we kiss the stone to obey Allah. We kiss the stone because we obey Allah. Have you ever thought of, of, of a cult like this before? This is why we kiss the stone, to obey Allah. Mm -hmm. He closed the conversation. He shut it down. He ran away. He shut it down. He closed. Bye-bye. <laughs> Start chat again. <laughs> Unbelievable. I am non Muslim. Let us go back again from zero. Where do you go, Ahmed? <laughs> We kiss the black stone to obey Allah. And what did the word Allah mean? Allah mean the only true God. And it is driven from the word Ilah. Okay, is Ilah is the word for the true God? Can we call Allah? Can we, can we call Buddha Allah? <sighs> what is that? And now he will not respond. That's it. He's gone. You see, they make their website to get a naive kid who have no idea what they are talking about. You see how fake this cult is? They have no answer.
I was asking how we obey Allah by kissing a stone. Is Allah a stone? Or is the stone part of Allah? Let us see what he will say. But I don't understand how you obey a law by kissing a stone. Is this a big in practice? God test us with obedience. Okay. Is the text, guys, is it clear for you what I'm typing? I told him, a Muslim told me that the black stone is the right hand of Allah. Let us see what he will lie. Are you saying no? Look, look, he said no. Oh. But he gave me this. <laughs> God is above all his creation. Let us see what he will say now. <laughs> The hadith, it is uh, metaphoric. This is metaphoric. Uh, uh, how it can be metaphoric. Explain, please. It is a metaphoric. He said, is.
what do you think guys he is now squeezing his head as it's a metaphorical He is this guy is saying to him what this is is about I explained Mike that the black stone uh, please read my lines yeah but why your prophet what the hold on Why you're a prophet? But why your prophet said it is his right hand? I mean, how that can be. Hmm? Are you the Abdul? What's happening? How? You said he explained how, when? Are you sure you explained? I didn't see that. I don't know. He claimed he explained. I don't see any, any explanation. Anyone see explanation there? I don't see it. <laughs> oh. The is, is he first did, did, look how they lie first he did I ask him is there a black stone the right hand of Allah he did not say the prophet he said it is right of Allah but this is metaphorical he denied that I am sorry I have to go now because my shift is ended oh, okay so who uh, uh, you cannot uh, give me a few minutes more please <laughs> he closed <laughs> I told him can't you give me a few minutes more please I like to kiss us I like kissing stones <laughs> <laughs> and the sight is knowing Allah. What the sight is? Knowing Allah. Allah knowing. Yeah, right. You, Abdul, you have no idea who is Allah. You claim that you are not pagan. You claim that people, the uh, pagan or Christian, blah, the Hindus, the Buddha, you are a pagan person. The black stone is the right hand of Allah, and your prophet say that. 
and you try to deny it but it doesn't work with us huh and now my shift is over what does that mean suddenly your shift is over can't you stay five minutes more to make me kiss the stone and say shahada I'm sorry my shift is over say my shift my shift is doing work hmm? Christian all uh, also kiss Jesus and Maria salute we know we don't kiss what is Jesus and where is Maria to kiss them <laughs> and Jesus and Maria are not stones I mean how it's are what's wrong with you if Jesus is in front of me I will be I will be happy to kiss his feet he's, he's my Lord but he is not a stone you are kissing a stone Abdul you're a prophet he says the black stone is the right hand of Allah how the black stone is the right hand of Allah who is this Allah if his right hand is a black stone who is the Muhammadan when I give us the answer hmm so you open a chat for those poor American to fool them Western who have no idea what this stupid cult is about Allah is the only name true name of a true God you're right you don't even know what Allah means. everything in this cult is a theft everything in this cult is a theft the word Allah is not Islamic the word Ibrahim is not Islamic ask ask any Muslim what Ibrahim means they do not know have you ever heard of a book have names nobody knows what they mean starting from Allah they do not know what Allah mean they do not know what Israel mean Jibrail Mikael Israel I mean all the names in the Quran they don't know what they mean because it's a theft hmm? now who is a Muslim he have the courage and the knowledge to call me who is a Muhammadan who like to tell us why the black stone is the right hand of Allah yeah and the black stone by the way is going to testify uh, for Allah uh, for you in the front of Allah in the judgment day and is going to have a tongue and eyes hmm? is that true Abdul is that true that the black stone is going to speak <clears throat> Let us see. Cannot be found. All right, let us see, find something else. Uh, read with me, please. Read, please. Allah Messenger said about the black stone by Allah by Allah Allah will rise it in the judgment in the day of resurrection with two eyes by which it sees and a tongue that is a speak with testifying to whoever touch it with the truth okay let us make that come to be true give me a second you know me I'm very good in art you know I cannot resist the temptation of being an art. I was I, I was born as an artist I mean I didn't know how to, to stop myself from painting and if you go all the museum in the world they have my painting actually actually I just got an offer from a very uh, rich wealthy uh, uh, business uh, man uh, to buy my one of my painting for uh, five uh, pesos uh, okay, this is the black stone as Muhammad describe it in the hadith is going to witness for us in the judgment day and Muhammad he said is going to have eyes and tongue All right, that's good. Actually, I like that This is the eyes of the black stone brother oh, Hold on we need to change the tool this tool is not right 
okay this tool is good for drawing here you will notice my skills by the way look at this look at this I'm sure women now they will say oh can you draw my eyes like this look at this huh alhamdulillah how sexy so this is the black stone brother eyes and now the black stone is going to have tongue okay this is the tongue this is the mouth now we need to do the tongue okay excuse me the tongue have to be red you know bloody tongue so now it is judgment day and the black stone brother is going let me make a, so the Muslims will not be upset I will make the the eyes uh, green you know that will be nicer huh? green here we go a green eyes so according to the hadith the black stone which is the right hand of Allah in the judgment day is going to have two eyes and is going to have a mouth and a tongue Nice to meet you, Blackstone. By the way, you look sexy. Hello? Any Muslim you say to us that you are not pagan? If this is not pagan, what is pagan? Oh, by the way, why the Blackstone look like a... <coughs> I don't want to say the word. I'm trying to resist. <coughs> why the Blackstone look... <coughs> look like... Uh, uh, why? Huh? Why the black stone look like, uh, you know, any Muslim knows? Uh, don't forget to sign. Uh, you, you are right. I need to forget. How I forgot to sign? People, they will take my paint and they will let me put a copyright over it. Give me a second. The Christian Prince. Prince. Here we go. Prince. Uh, they cannot say my name. Prince, okay, hold on. Prince, uh, this is in black. You know, we need to change the color so make it more shiny. Yeah, now it is like no, it's more authentic. Okay, nobody, nobody can take it, and that's it because we have signature there. Any Abdul? What is this? You do not know what Allah means. We ask you why kiss the black stone to show obedience to Allah since when we obey God by kissing stones and why Allah he want you to kiss a stone to obey him and where Allah he said to you kiss a stone to obey me my friend all Islamic books are stupid and I don't approve any of them however the the book you mentioned uh, I mean why you keep asking me the same question my friend truth seeker have you ever heard of a book Muslims agree with it any book will make Islam look embarrassing the Muslims they will wash their hands from it but between the behind the doors they approve the book as an example all the hadith books which is the Muslims they they have you know uh, it was approved for the last uh, you know 12 13 centuries nobody complained and then because we start making fun of the stupidity is there as you see they start saying oh we don't accept that and we don't accept this this is the same for the book you are talking about anyway the book you mentioned is not really uh, such a big deal I mean this uh, it's a it's a new book compared to uh, uh, to other books for me it means nothing actually it's, it's, it's a stupid book it's not a big deal I mean, I mean why this book is important for you I don't understand let us go back to our topic do we have any Muslim he can tell us why kissing the black stone and how kissing the black stone is about obeying Allah and worshiping Allah how we can worship God by kissing a stone is going to have two eyes and beautiful, beautiful tongue. Look at this tongue, how cute. If mean, mean, I'm being tempted now. By the way, uh, Muslims, the black stone is going to have tongue. 
Does that mean when you put your tongue there, the tongue of the black stone is vacuuming your uh, information? It's like a USB drive, like you put your mouth there, she put the tongue in your mouth, and she suck all the information, and then she is going to witness for your sin in the day of judgment. Any uh, any Muslim have an answer, or your time, or or your shift time is over, and you have to go. Anyone? Hello. By the way, I warn you, if you are married and you are kissing your wife, how you know that your wife, she is not going to take information from your mouth? Here we go. Even stones, we can trust these days. You kiss a stone, you think you are safe. It's a stone. <laughs> Keep dreaming. She suck all the information and she is going to witness in the front of Allah in the day of resurrection. Don't ever kiss your wife in the mouth. Kiss her in the nose. Just to be safe. You better safe than sorry. Uh, just an advice. I mean, it's up to you. It's up to you. Any uh, Muslim? Huh? What is this? Is your prophet serious that the black stone is going to have uh, eyes and tongues? And is going to speak in the day of resurrection. And why is going to take a speak in the day of resurrection? Why, what about not to speak now? I like, I would love to see the, the black stone in American Idol program. I mean, that will be hot. <clears throat> Any Mohammedan? No, no, you see, you cannot say a lot of Christians kiss statues and kiss a cross. You can kiss whatever you want, but this is not the teaching of Christ. Your prophet say your prophet he did kiss the black stone. And we just ask your brother Abdul, Ahmad Abdul Muhammad Abdul Muhammad, which his shift is over, sadly. He said, and by the way, if you go back now, if you guys text him, he will answer. His shift is not done, trust me. It is your prophet who kissed the black stone and he said that it is obedience to Allah Now show me where Jesus says kiss uh, my cross or kiss me or kiss a status show me The Bible made it clear you you worship no image you make no image of what above in heaven or down in earth Any image for the purpose of worship is forbidden That's what the Bible says Now, you're a prophet. Can I debate you, Mr. Omar? Okay, Mr. Omar, you are welcome. Are you a Muslim, Mr. Omar? Mr. Omar, are you a Muslim? Are you a real Muslim? If you are a real Muslim and you would like to talk to me, I will open Pat Talk and you can call me there, no problem. Make an ID in Pat Talk, give it to me, I will call you there. <clears throat> Why I calling them Muhammadan? Because they they follow Muhammad. They don't follow any god. You see, who is the god of Islam? Is it Allah? There's no god. The, the, the real god is Muhammad. They are Muhammadan. They are Muhammadan. According to Islamic Sharia Allah, if you insult Allah, if you leave Islam, they give you three days to repent. But if you insult the Prophet, even if you repent, you have to be killed. So who is God? You tell me. What kind of a religion, if you insult a man, you have to be killed, his name is Muhammad, but if you insult God, they give you three days to repent. So who they are they? Are they following Allah or following Muhammad? They are following Muhammad. Allah, he says something in the Quran. Muhammad says something in the Hadith. Muslim, they follow what Muhammad said, not what Allah said. And I can give you tons of reference. Any Muhammadan? So how they can be people following Allah? They don't follow Allah. They don't.
Two wanna prove me wrong. By the way, I'm very weak in knowledge. I do not know much. And as you see, my English is broken. I speak good English only when I speak like Zachary Naik. But the theta, the theta, they ask you question. Why in Islam there is no woman see the Prophet? And this is absolutely true. I confirm that. In Islam, we don't have a woman see the Prophet. And there is a very strong logical reason behind this. Because of a Muslim woman, they become a Prophet. They have to lead the congregation. And if they lead the congregation, they have to do to do a wudu and they have to bend over. And if they bend over, the Muslim will be contacted and they will disrupt them. And they cannot breathe the Allah. Thank you very much. This is the only English they understand. Why a Muslim woman she can't be a prophet? Because if she bend over, Muslim will focus in her ass and they will forget about Allah. This is the answer of Zakir Naik in front of more than 25,000 Muslim. And all of them, like, their mouth is open like, wow. Look at this answer, how intelligent it is. So you are saying to me that you Muslim, you forget about Allah for a second ass of a woman? May Allah ask you. And none of them complain like, wow. And this is live in TV. And the TV broadcasting this for 12 satellite in 12, uh, 24 hours. Hmm? This is the reason there is no woman, she is a prophet because of her ass. I'm not joking, by the way. You can search for the video on YouTube. Why a woman, she can't be a prophet in Islam, Zakir Naik, kosher shit, because of her ass. I mean, we have to be honest here. Women asses, man, will make you forget about Allah. I mean, who can see an ass of a woman and remember Allah? Nobody. Muslims, they will forget about Allah immediately. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Hello? You see, today, uh, today because it is Saturday, uh, not many people online. I don't know why. I think you guys are having a, a barbecue and poor me. I'm here talking to you. Me. Where is it? Why we have only? And look at this number we have now. 668. Can my Shia friend call you? He can convince, so you can convince her out of Islam. She can call me, why not? Anyone can call me, no problem. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Mr. Omar, you can call me. Uh, uh, give me your ID in, uh, in uh, Pal Talk and I will call you myself. No problem. Give me your ID, Mr. Omar, in Pal Talk. We receive phone call, calls in Pal Talk. It's for free. <coughs> All right. And here we go. I will open my Pal Talk in case you are ready to call me if you have a Pal Talk ID. And here we go. Now I am in Pal Talk. Omero ninety ninety seven. Okay, I see. Actually, I see your a text from you. Let me call you, Omar. No problem. You are welcome, my friend. <clears throat> Hello? 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 Yes, Mr. Omar, how are you? You are live on YouTube now. Yes, no problem, no problem. How I can help you, Omar? What do you want to say to us about the topic we are speaking about? I don't know if you are watching with us. Uh, your prophet, uh, he said, I'll... your prophet, he said yes, that the black what? stone have eyes, have a tongue. 
What do you think? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I was on the YouTube on my computer, so I was just uh, uh, low down the vo the volume so I can hear you and talk no, a little uh, bit better. Yeah, mute uh, mute YouTube, please, and uh, focus with me here. Yeah. You can keep YouTube running so, yeah. so you can uh, see the screen uh, because I'm going to show you a hadith about your prophet, he said, if you don't mind. And okay, okay. I, I'm going to mute it and I'm going to watch the screen. So. All right. This is the hadith. Your prophet he said that the black stone is going to witness for you in the day of judgment. It's going to have a tongue, it's going to have eyes, and it's going to talk. What do you say? Like uh, you mean it is uh, about the uh, like uh, when the world ends or yes, yes, in the, in the day of exactly resurrection. Like? At the end, yeah, at the end, day of resurrection. So the black stone is going to have eyes, uh -huh. is going to have tongue, and is going to speak. What do you say about that? In uh, in which hadith? Uh, this is Jami al Turmudi. Daniel al Turmudi. Is it a hadith uh, 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 like the 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 real uh, hadith? Because it's many, you know, hadith in in a different uh, My friend, way. You Jami al Turmudi know? is one of the authentic six books of hadith. There is six writers, according to they are Sunni, right? Aren't you Sunni? Yes, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. you are a Muslim Sunni. So that's a Jamia at Turmudi. There are six authentic books of hadith, which is not only not, those are not the only authentic, but the most top authentic books are the six books. One of them is Jamia at Turmudi. So now what we would do? Did your prophet kiss the black okay, stone? Uh, did, did your prophet kiss the black stone? No, I, I, I don't know if, if the black <laughs> stones get I and that, but. Uh, you know the hadith is like I'm very like I'm unsure about the hadith. Mm -hmm. Like I'm more believe in the Quran, and not. So okay, really you know what? You know what? Omar, you, you sound a very nice guy, and I will make just a change just for for your sake. All right, I want you. I want okay. you to take the to take advantage of this call. And there is like hundreds of people listening to you. Most of them they are Christians. Mm -hmm. You tell me how you can. Yes. You how you want to convert me to Islam? I want to learn from Islam from you. What would make Islam a good religion? To make me believe in Islam or Allah or Muhammad, how you can do that? Go ahead. Uh, it, it, it just you know uh, because like uh, the, in the Quran, in the, like in the Quran, the community in Islam is uh, uh, like uh, you know it's some people who ex explain it or make it you know in a bad way. For example, you know es tourists and stuff like that because everyone make it own definition hmm. if you if, if you understand me hmm. and when they make a one, one definition and another one making one uh, definition defined it in a different way hmm. then they make it you know uh, a bad picture about islam hmm. it's, it's the same with christianity because christianity for example they make uh, a, a bad image about catholic and everything like that hmm. so it depends uh, like how which kind of person you are and how you understand Okay, I want you to uh, and, uh, I want you uh, Omar I want you to paint for me a good image of Islam I don't want the, the ugly image I want you to give me a good image what is good in the Quran as an example what is here we go the Quran is in the front of us what is good in this book it is anything good like what uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not that educate educated but what what is good is like in, like you know, you you have to like uh, pray, you know, pray to God and believe in Allah, and uh, you know you have Ramadan. How you pray to in, God? Which how, is how, good. You, how you pray to God in Islam? How Islam, you you, you have a mat or you know, uh, stay on that and uh, read Quran. You know, okay, it's do, a different do you, do you know, position. Do you know Al Fatiha? Do you know Al Fatiha? Yeah. Okay. This is the prayer you pray five times a day, right? You recite Al Fatiha. Okay. Al Fatiha. Yes, five times. Th this is day. your best prayer. It's cursing the Christians and the Jews. How this is good to pray to Allah, but you cannot pray to Allah without cursing us. It says in verse number seven, the way you, uh, uh -huh. the way of those whom you have bestowed your grace, not the way of those who earned your anger or cursed, nor those who they went astray. Who are they? Those who went astray and the one is cursed, the Jews and the Christians. The Jews are cursed. The Christians are the mm -hmm. one who went astray. What kind of a prayer you say to Allah? Please, Allah, please. First thing in the morning, 
You say to Allah, please don't make us like the Jews and don't make us like the Christians. Please, Allah, what is that? How this is can be a good prayer? You just said to me, some people they make a bad image of bad people, right? You said that to me that bad bad people they make garbage and they make bad image. Okay, why Allah He is asking you to pray like this, saying to you, Don't make us please like the Christians, don't make us like the Jews. What's wrong? Yeah, but like that when they say that, they say in Quran, like when the Jewish or mm -hmm. for example, Christianity, like say those people who uh, believe that it's uh, the Holy Spirit and the Father and the Son is uh, three gods and don't believe in them, you know, because it's one God, just mm -hmm. like you know what I mean. It okay, is well, not saying well, the like Jews, the Jews, they are uh, the Jews and the Christian they believe in one God So what does have to do and why he don't mention the Hindus as an example? Why Allah is so upset from the Jews and the Christian, but he is not upset from the Hindus the Buddhas I mean they have hundreds of gods. How come only us the Christian the Jews Muhammad he focus on them He never mention anyone else No, that's true, but this is uh, those uh, you know the Abraham uh, religion what, what what Islam have to do with the Abraham and what is the Abraham religion? Can you tell me about it? What is Abraham religion? The Abraham religion is like you believe in one God Abraham he believe in one God Yeah, he believe in he believe in just one God. Okay. Well as I know it, 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 Well Abraham it is what I what, what I learned no what I know that Abraham in the Quran he worshiped the moon He worshiped the star he worshiped the Sun. Is that correct? Yeah, can you show me proof for that? Okay, I will ask a friends to help. That he he, he, say, he say he say uh, I worship moon, I worship yeah. this stars is and like that. This is Abraham. It says I remember when Abraham he said to his father Azar, "Do you take idols as ilah as gods?" Verily, I see you people are manifest uh, in error. And then he says, "And when the night co cover covered him over." Uh, with the darkness he saw a star he said this is my Allah or this is my God but when he said he said I don't like the one who said have you ever heard of a story like this don't you see something silly here do you see a star before Omar have you ever ever saw a star <laughs> I have seen a star but not okay. did you see a star and when you saw it you said this is my God no, I haven't. Okay, that what yet. kind of Abraham is Abraham? When he saw the star, he said he liked the star and he says, This is my God. And then the star he said, He said, I don't like those who said what he liked, those who stand. No, so what, what is not really, but God? he don't. The, the reason he left, uh, he, he left the religion of worshiping the star because the star he said, Don't you find that this mm -hmm. is this is stupid? Because in, in order to say in order to say such a thing, it's mean I never know before that the star does appear. So Abraham, he was living until he became a man, and then suddenly the star disappear. Like it, how, how this happened? I mean, how he this how he made this discovery that the star disappear and decide to leave religion? Like he he went in a debate, and the debate they told him, "Did you notice that the star disappear?" And Abraham looked like what? He disappear? I did not notice that. I'm going to leave this religion now. What do you think? <laughs> I, I I don't want to go against against like the the, the 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 religion, the Quran, because I believe in that. Mm. So, and um, but it, this uh, this set you show me, mm. it's it's like I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Really. Okay. What about then? Then Abraham he saw the moon and then he said oh, oh this is a, this is more sexy so he started saying this is my Lord but then when the moon said he said you know what I'm not going to worship the moon because he said look like Abraham you have a problem with, with, the, with the one who said so if the moon did not set Abraham will be worshiping the moon until now okay and then the moon is gone so he don't like him then he saw the Sun when he saw the sun rising up, he said, this is my Lord, this is Akbar. He called him Akbar, like Allah. Huh? Mm -hmm. But when, mm -hmm. when it said, he said, oh, my people, I am indeed free from what you worship. 
with Allah. How he knew about Allah suddenly? Like this, the 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 sun set suddenly right away. He mentioned Allah. What? How this happened? Uh, yeah, and this is Quran, right? Yeah, this is Quran. Yeah, this is the yellow pages. No, this is the yellow pages. Of <laughs> I don't know. So, what do you say, uh, Omar? What do you think? You said you follow Abraham. I don't know. I, like you it. said, you follow Abraham. Abraham worship stars, worshiping moons, worshiping. How many stars you worship? Be honest with you, Omar. <laughs> I, I I don't worship. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, stars. Uh, forget I about see. Abraham. Forget about Abraham. I want to ask you about something. What the what what the word Allah mean? Allah mean like uh, the, the the one. The one. Oh, yeah, that's that's funny. Where do you get this from? Yeah. Where where do you get this from? Allah mean the one. Did Allah he like he talk to you, and he says Allah mean the one. Where can you show me the reference for this? Did Muhammad says Allah mean the one or something? No, no it's, it's like in my, my dad uh, tell me that because my dad is a sheikh. So. Oh, your dad is a sheikh. Why you not let him talk to me then? Can I? <laughs> I'm, I'm not living. Uh, uh, by myself, so I, I I don't live with him. Can you ask him to talk to me, please? I mean, in the future, can you invite him to talk to me? I will speak to him with a lot of respect, no problem. Do he speak English or not? Okay, I can I can tell him. Do he, do he speak English? But uh, I, I want to. I have I have always have one question for you mm -hmm. because I I've video for for many years. You watch my videos yeah, for many. Uh, years? You watch my videos for many. Years? Yeah, I, I watch your videos for. Like them, uh, most of them. So for, I'm very impressed. For how many? Know. How many years you watch like, videos? For how many years you watch them? Like, uh, like it was almost two years ago. Two years ago. I wasn't born two years ago. Anyway, it's okay. So uh, what? Do, what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? Yeah, because Muhammad, he was born four years after his father's death. I mean, why is this a surprise? Maybe it happened to me too. I mean, how have you ever heard of a guy he is born four years after his father's death? Anyway, yes, but. What? Uh, I, I, the one uh, uh, Christianity better than Islam. It's not about it's better or not better. There's only either it's a true belief or it's not a true belief. If a Christianity is false, that will not make it better than anyone. Anyway, it's false, false. Then if Islam is false, it's false. We are not here in competition. Which ice cream is better? So either Islam is a true religion. Or a Christianity is true religion, or maybe mm -hmm. both of them are not true, but that will not change anything. You know, I'm, I'm trying to find out from you how you follow such a mad religion. This is a mad religion. Okay, let me ask you. You heard your prophet saying that if you go to heaven, Allah will give you a lot of women and they will be virgin. Is that correct? Exactly. It's 70. Okay. Uh, well, about be honest with me. Do you, do you like to have virgin women? Do you, be honest with me. Do you like to have them, those virgin women? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. What if they are old, but yet, but yet they are virgin because the Quran, you know, like I mean, it might be they are virgin, but they made very, very old. What do you think? Yeah, but uh, I don't know where, where they say okay. they are old or they okay. are young. What if they older. are? What if they are young and virgin but ugly? <laughs> <laughs> it depends if uh, if you are attractive or not. Okay. What about those uh, uh, versions? Uh, you know, they are like uh, uh, not even uh, they are not even females. What if they are like something scary? I mean, they might have a private part like a female, but they're not because those are in the sky. They are not here and not like us. Correct. We don't know what they are. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Okay. Uh, so why Allah is promising me a lot of those versions? What, what exactly the purpose of that? He's trying to tempt me. You think uh, sexually? He's saying to me, if you if you obey me, if you do things as I told you, I will treat you like a kid. I will give you a Barbie, and in this case, I will give you seventy-two Barbie. Do you think this is the scenario? You think you are a bunch of idiots, and we are uh, kids? He can tempt us by a bunch of vaginas. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, it's it's kind of 
I don't know. <laughs> now it it makes me like uh, this is like more a fantasy, you know. Okay, so here we go. We are getting closer, me and you, to understand each other. It's a more as a fantasy. Yeah. So don't you think that the one who is claiming to be God, yet he is talking as a as a porn star, as like a, a porn station fantasy, you know? Don't you think that the the, the one who speak to my fantasy, he is satanic, because you know how Satan he tempt people, sex, money, correct? Do we, we agree, correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Allah is the same. Allah is the same as Satan. He promised you if you do this and this to me, I will give out a vagina. Okay. Well, Shaitan, he can promise me more and more vagina. How we know that Allah Himself is not Shaitan? How we know that Allah Himself is not the Shaitan Himself? That's true. But what 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 you, what, what you say about that? Uh, uh, you know that thing. You know, Shaitan uh, doesn't uh, bend down for. The people and uh, Allah said you go down okay. to the earth. No I kick you out. This is the good question. This is the proof that Shaitan is a is a victim, because why Allah He is uh, uh, the angels He they said uh, accusation to Adam, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so why why Allah asking the Shaitan to bow down? Uh, because you know, like uh, those other angels. To like show respect for his people. No, but you see, let me, let me uh, Omar, let me explain to you. You are, you are, uh, me and you, we are in the room in the front of Allah. Mm -hmm. And you are the one who made a mistake against Allah. Shouldn't he ask you to yeah. go down? Not me. It's not me. I did not do anything. You know, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, but, so, but it is like, you know, he, he's like explaining, he, he's complaining to God to say, uh, why do you 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 make me in in, in like a uh, uh, in a fire, you know? Yeah, but this is and not, you make those not, other not in, only this. Not uh, only this. Like, if you think about it, first of all, how God he order angels to bow down to Adam? First, this is not right. That's mean mm -hmm. angels are sinners, and this is against the nature of this the angels according to Quran Islam. So. When you obey, when you why? Because the angels they said Adam will commit uh, uh, sin, he would do bloodshed. Allah told them, You know not what I know. So, here the angels accu uh, accusing Adam, and this is why Allah supposedly ordered them to bow down to Adam. But then he asking, He, 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 obey, uh, he uh, read with me, and we order and we said to the angels, Prostrate yourself. And then he said, Except Shaitan, but this is this is stupid, and I will tell you why. You know that Shaitan is not an angel, don't you? No, he's not the angel. Okay, so I say all cats say meow, and the dog he did not say meow. Why I would be upset from the dog? They are cats. Angels are angels. This guy is not an angel. He's a genie. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down. Why he is upset from shaitan? Did he order shaitan to bow down too? No, it says we order the angels to bow down. Yeah. So this is here is a mistake. Because if the shaitan is not an angel, <laughs> Then how you know I can accept this to be true if Islam believe that Satan is an angel like in Christianity Satan in Christianity is a foreign angel in Islam. He's a genie. He's not an angel So I order all the cats to say meow except shaitan. He say oh So he's a he's a dog They are cats You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So here the one the author of the Quran he made a stupid mistake secondly uh, If you read with me uh when when shaitan uh yes uh, you know when shaitan he disobey allah allah he kicked him out of heaven correct yes okay then how shaitan come back to heaven and he whispered to whisper to them you mean uh, he, he get kicked out before uh, yeah he was kicked uh, out before like yeah exactly exactly he was kicked out before, uh, uh, you know, uh, before uh, he whispered to them. Mm, before he 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 get uh, he like uh, being a snake in uh, in paradise. Yeah, he you know uh, the, the second the second he uh, uh, you know he disobey Allah from uh, bowing down to Adam. Uh, Allah, he said, mm -hmm. to him, get out of here, you know. 
Yes, he exactly. Okay. And he came back. Okay, uh, so how he will come? How he will come back? Here we go. Read with me. This is a chapter seven. Allah said to Iblis, mm -hmm. "Get down from this. From what? From paradise? You see the screen, right?" Yes. Okay. Now Allah, He told him, "Get down." Correct. Okay. So now, after that, yeah. Allah, after that, Allah, He said to Adam, "Oh Adam, read with me, verse number 19. Oh Adam, you and your uh -huh. wife go have fun in the garden." Correct. Yes. Okay. And then the verse after is Shaitan. He whispered to them, "How?" <laughs> Shaitan, yeah. he, uh, he cannot get in. Even the even the Quran says, if Shaitan try to get in, even close to the heaven to spy, Allah will shoot his ass with the stars, shooting the stars. Yeah, but but, but but don't you think? I don't know. Maybe Allah let him in again. No, to where, where, where it says make no, a no, 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 for no, 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 no. You see. Not only he said to him, he said to him, get out of this with this grace and expel. That's it. Don't you Muslim, you say, if Allah says something is going to say, be is going to be? Yes. Okay, where in the Quran it says, Allah, he let him get in again. That's not true. No, it says that. This is the same story in the front of us, the same page. Allah told him, get in. And then the verse after it, Allah said to Adam, go and live in the garden, you and your wife. And then the verse after it, Shaitan, he whispered to them, Uh, yeah, I don't know. you know, I was thinking maybe Shaitan he made a key for the heaven, like when during the time he was there, maybe like he talked to the guards, you know, he took some, he make a copy of the key. What do you think? And he got back after he was kicked out. You know, Shaitan is a bad boy. You know, it might happen. Like you know, your dad he says to you, "Don't drive my car." You go and you take the keys and yeah. you make a copy in Walmart, and you come back and your dad, your dad is snoring. You take the car. You know, I did that before, by the way. You know. My car, he used to have a donkey and he used to lock it and I stole the key. So I took the donkey from him during night time just to show the girls, you know, show them like I have a big donkey. So now here, Shaitan is kicked out and now Shaitan mm. is coming back again. But that how this happened, this is proving that the Quran is a, is a false book. Yeah, but uh, I don't know what to say. What to say is this, if this is the correct translation. Oh, this is a this is not correct translation. What translation you like? I speak Arabic. Arabic is my first language. No problem. It says was shaitan." By the way, I like the word first was was. I mean, look at this word. This word alone, yeah. we can make a song from it. Was was. What do you think about this word in Arabic? Was was. I mean, like it's like susu susu. <laughs> okay, so for was was lahum shaitan So you know the translation we can say is very close, accurate. Yeah. Not, yes. bad, not bad. So, you can change what, the translation. What, uh, yeah. here. I mean, you can change the translation. But what what is like what what uh, means like? What exactly? was uh, like when you when uh, supposed to like whisper, but in in a in a bad way. Like you know, you start uh, uh, repeating some something you wanna you want somebody to do. Like you know, but some something evil. You know. Uh -huh. So, but this is so. Usually, we say the word was was uh, with something evil have to do with Satan. Hmm? Uh -huh. Yeah. So it's like whispering, but like you know, repeating an order for you to do, but for something bad, like eating the cookies of your mom. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. But what do you think about cookies, Omar? Cookies. Yeah. Did Allah promise us cookies in the heaven? Yeah, and uh, honey too. Honey. No, He did not promise us cookies. Where? I never saw the verse promise us. Yeah, the the promise of Allah, the the, the food of Allah is uh, is very weird. I mean, do you know that the only uh, uh, the only uh, meat we will eat in the heaven? Is the meat of uh, birds? No, where is it? Okay, what do you know about the heaven? What you will eat in the heaven? I know it's like uh, you live uh, without end, and you you can get anything you want. Hmm. Well, here we go. This is chapter fifty-six, verse number twenty-one. The only meat you will eat there is a is a bird meat. No chicken, no turkey, no salmon, no fish, nothing. I mean, 
what is that I mean this is a very boring small buffet and then what uh, what 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 do you think about the little boys who they are going to go around you in the heaven? Do you like boys? I want to be honest with me. If I, do you like boys? No. So why Allah promising me boys who they are very pretty and they are like pearls? <laughs> do you like child abuse, Omar? Do you like to have little boys? They are your slaves for eternity. No, that is more home uh, be, be honest with me, isn't it disgusting? Yeah, if I be true, yes. Yeah. Okay, so what kind of God he promised me? Eighty thousand little boy who they are very pretty, supposedly, and they are very white. what is that? And they supposedly the Muslim they claim those are not for sex, they will serve us. What kind of God? He will abuse 80,000 little child to make you happy and how that can make you happy <laughs> I don't know it's more sexually yeah so this is gonna be from God Omar yeah so what do you think Omar? shouldn't you leave? But, uh... shouldn't you leave Islam I see that I smell like you are almost out of Islam look like you are going you know you are you are agreeing with me you know, without noticing that this is disgusting. What do you think? Yeah, I, I, like I have. I'm thinking about no questioning, you no know, uh, many things on. Hmm. You are, but, uh, you know, my dad said always, a shake. You are a it's a bad, shake. it's a bad, people just want to be, give you a bad image. And, uh, no, no, image. I'm, like, don't I'm not look going, at no, 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 your dad is not being honest because I'm not, uh, with my respect to your father, did I give you any bad image? I'm mm -hmm. showing you on the screen what it says. Did I give you a bad image? Did I fabricate something? Bad image is I, me, or you fabricating something does not exist, correct? Yeah, okay. Correct. This is the image in the front of us. We did not add anything. It is says the boys. As simple as that. So where is the bad image? I'm not making. But but now in, in from inside you, you discover that this is kind of mm -hmm. sexual and this is disgusting. And even if it's not sexual, I mean, what kind of religion? Yeah. My happiness is is based on in in, in humiliating and child abuse for uh, you know for kids. They have no fault. I mean, why kids? What for? Mm. And remember, according to Islam, in the heaven of Allah, there is no cooking, there is no, there's nothing. I mean, your clothes will never wrinkle, they will never be rowing, you will never take a shower, you will no. never do poo poo. So, what the servants for? What the servants for? Even, um. even the trees, will, <laughs> even the trees will bend down for you, so you can eat the fruit. You don't even need to grab the fruit. The tree will bend down for you. So, what the servants for? But I have a news for you, uh, Omar. Do you like to uh, do, you uh, like, do you like to recline on a on a couch? Do you like that? Do you like to have couch? Is that like a dream for you to have yeah. a couch? Man, Allah, He gave us a promise. We will have me and you a couch. What do you think about this promise? Don't you think it's silly that we'll be reclining in a couch in the heaven and around us, boys? In the heaven, huh? Yeah, it, it is kind of sketchy. Hmm. Okay, and then uh, we are going to eat any uh, fruit we like. Hmm. What does that mean? What is this? This is heaven of Allah. And we are going to eat from the flesh of birds. Hmm. And then here are the version. So now our belly is full. My stomach is full. It's time to go down to the penis. And now the hoodies are waiting, brother, because my stomach is full and your stomach. Uh, Omar, do you think we will have like neighbor villa yeah. me and you? If I convert to Islam, I will take a villa next to you and like, hey, Omar, what are you doing? You said to me, ZB, I'm having sex now because I just finished eating falafel. I mean, what is that, uh, Omar? What is this? Yeah. Wait, when you, now you when you explain, it, it sounds more like a. Uh... Porn. So. It is porn. And then look here. Uh, do, do you know how your your women look like in the heaven, uh, uh, Omar? <coughs> uh, not really. They don't uh, describe the look. 
No, it's, it is described. The prophet, he described them. Actually, even the Quran described them. Look what your prophet, he said. He said, this is in Sahih al-Bukhari. This is very authentic. Mm -hmm. That the women in heaven, you will see the huris. You will see the marrow of their bones. Do you see it? You will see the marrow, the marrow of, their bones, yeah. of their bones. Do you like marrow of the bones, uh, Omar? What do you think about having women? No. And we can see them. No. Marrow? No, I sh I think you are mistaken. Let me let me show you a picture so that will make you change your mind, because I find it very 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 beautiful actually very hot. You know we have to be honest. Uh, let us see. Um, just to give you an idea how the women in the heaven of Allah they will look like based on the description of a prophet Muhammad may Allah pray on him. Okay, uh, this is how. Uh, the women of the heaven of in the heaven of Allah they will look like I want you to look in the screen and focus curve you know uh, carefully uh, but please behave like mm -hmm. you know, because it's very tempting it's very tempting so uh, you know we cannot uh, just for safety and security we cannot lose our uh, self you know this is how the women in the heaven of Allah she will look like what do you think about this beauty wait is, uh, I, I, I cannot No. What no? Is, is, it, is it like the the picture with uh, both? Yeah, this is how she would look like. Your prophet, he said, those women in heaven, they are so white to the point you can see through their bones. By the way, I have a picture like this in my bedroom. I have like many of them, like in our own, because I'm single, you know? So uh, like, uh, I, I, I like to be tempted from time to time. So I printed those pictures and I put them all over my I, even if I go to the kitchen like in, in my dishes I printed those like when I look at the dish I want to eat I want to see something so beautiful I look at it. Do you see high high heels? Do you see that? <laughs> it looks scary. Huh? Looks scary. Oh, oh look at this. This is what you will this is what you will be doing uh, in there in heaven. <laughs> Let us skip this one. Look at this. So beautiful. What do you think? What is that? I mean, come on. I mean, this is Islam is so beautiful, brother. I mean, look at this. This a prophet he chose. I mean, perfect. Uh, this is look at this uh, posing. Like, man, very tempting. Uh, and this is what your prophet said. Compare. I'm not making things up. Here we go. Your prophet he says they are so white to the point they are so beautiful pure. By the way, it's not the pure. It's they are they are pure in, in the case. Of, like they are so white to the point they are transparent does it say transparent in front of you does it say no that? read the hadith it says transparent correct yeah with who, who, who will be so beautiful pure and transparent okay and then he says and the marrow of their bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh yeah it's kind of, you know, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you make, you now you make me like, uh, you know, I don't know now about uh, Islam. So why you don't leave Islam, uh, Omar? You don't sound like a stupid person for me. I mean, isn't it obvious that this guy is trying to tempt us with the stupid things? Those Arab, they like white women, and Muhammad is exaggerating with his uh, false promises to the point he claimed that we are going to have women who their 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 uh, their bones their marrow of their bones by the way Omar, i like that because if your wife she eat your meal in the fridge now you know who ate it i mean look, think about it mm -hmm. you can see what is inside the stomach all the excuse me all the shit inside you will see it too that's beautiful too you know so i mean what this guy is talking about how muhammad can be a prophet of god and what kind of a promises uh somebody <clears throat> uh, is, it, is it like uh, is it like in the in the boat uh what, what i heard too is like you know uh first quran uh, muhammad has uh, aisha like uh i think aisha burn it or it get burned so they don't have the real quran you know what I'm talking about? I understand. Say again. Uh, you, you know the first Quran uh, Muhammad has. Yeah. 
yeah, uh, Aisha. Uh, I don't know if Aisha or if it gets it gets bur burned up. They uh, like put fire and like it it, it disappeared. So uh, all the Quran of Muhammad. One of the Aisha, they memorized this. And Nobody they memorized it down. No, no, no. You see, they collected the Quran from many people who memorized each one. Of Memorize the verse they put it there, but they don't have one person who memorizes everything. They don't. And the, yeah, uh, 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 the caliphate Uthman he burned all the Qurans. So uh, Omar, what do you think? Be honest with me. Do you think this is a prophet of God? He would say such a thing. No, not really. Okay, so uh, why you don't say I'm out of Islam? You just said not really. Why you don't say I'm out of Islam? You are watching my videos. For I'm, I'm scared of my dad. You know, the what, coach. What he will do to you because he's a sheikh? What he will do? You think he will harm you? It'll, no, he will say like, "Go out of the house." And like, oh, because uh, so you are afraid from losing the house. He owned the house. No, you know the family. Oh yeah, okay, well, my friend. Uh, you see, which one is better? Uh, if your family really are a family, they will never denounce you no matter what you do uh, But if they are a fake family, then they will do Right, I mean you did not do any crime. You did not do any crime. You did not do anything. You know, this is stupid You don't believe in this garbage. So why your family if they already they love you as a family why they will uh, Reject you it doesn't make sense and you know what if they reject you for being truthful Well, you don't want them then the whole world is full of people we are living in earth have seven billion a human being you can find a better family than your family and let me tell you something I don't believe in a family thing. Uh -huh. I believe that anyone is good to me is my family your brother can can be a person who hurt you is that true yeah yeah so family is somebody is good to you my friend it's not a it's not a person who is from your blood at, at least the one who choose to be your uh, closer friend to you he choose to be he is not forced to buy like by birth because your brother is your brother by birth, right? You did not choose him. He did not choose exactly. him. So a person who is a stranger is good to you He can be better to you than your brother So what do you think? Uh, Omar? Are you going to are you willing to announce that you are out of Islam? <laughs> it's kind of uh, uh, yeah you're, I, you're out of i can't say um okay well i'm so happy for you omar. Of all right omar sound sound good so guys we have here a gentleman his name is omar he is a son of a sheikh and he decided to leave islam wonderful wonderful omar i'm really happy for you omar what do you think about christianity now what do you think about the messiah the christ like uh, the Messiah of the Christ, I've, I've heard a lot of the beautiful things. Okay. So, so what about I invite you? To but I don't know. Messiah. I don't know the main thing. You know. Okay. Well, like the main things, you see, the, the Messiah simply, it's not a secret that we, as a Christian, we believe that God He came to us in a person, in a man, as a man, and this man He is extremely wonderful. Yet he is God in the same time. Uh -huh. He commit no sin because he is a man as God in the same time, and because he's Almighty God, you know he is perfect. Doesn't matter if he is a man uh -huh. or not. The, the man is just a sheep, is a look, but God is God. So the Messiah, he is a wonderful person who came to this earth, and he, uh, you know, he wanted our salvation, and he still he wants you to be saved right now. And I invite you to accept him. If you have any question about him, I will be happy to answer you. Uh, right now yeah okay yeah right now if you want if you have any question because you see for me I do my duty as a Christian I will be uh -huh. happy that the Bible says a happiness a happiness will be in the kingdom of God for one person is saved so today uh -huh. I will do my best to make a happiness happen in the kingdom of God for God is love and he loves us all he love you even though you were from a Muslim family or maybe five minutes ago you were a Muslim but now you are not he loves you so he wants you to be saved and I invite you to accept the Messiah and that's why I'm asking you if you need to know something you know about the Messiah I will be happy to answer yes but right now it's, it's really difficult to 
All right. I have a question. No problem. Maybe, you know, I will let you think uh, carefully about things you want to know about Christ. I advise you to read the Bible, you know, and uh, read the Bible with, yes. open, with open heart. But I, I, I tell you from now, the heaven of the Messiah, there's no women, there's no boys, there's no falafel, there's no humor, uh -huh. you know, for he is noble and yes. all on his heaven, his heaven is like him, is the likeness mm -hmm. of God, you see. Because God is is high, He will not promise us something silly. So He will give us happiness, which cannot be described, but have nothing to do with sex, have nothing to do. All of this is something temporary. Sex was ex exist God, made by God actually for a reason, so we can reproduce, mm -hmm. not for a sexual pleasure. This is not the purpose, you know. Muhammad he made it the purpose of life, a purpose mm -hmm. of heaven. That's not true. That's not what heaven is about. And God, who can make us happy for eating some fruits, enjoying the taste of a fruit, He can make us happy in a way we cannot even imagine without eating anything. So, we He mm -hmm. will give us a nature, and the Bible says, He and she, they will be the same as angels. So, you will be the same as an angel in heaven of God, which means you will be free of all addiction, free of all needs. Muhammad will make you a slave of needs. In earth, maybe you need to have sex once or twice a week or once a day. In the heaven of Allah, you are addicted to sex. You have sex 24 hours, seven days a week for eternity. That is addiction, and that is not happiness. And what is the point of having sex with women who will be jailed in my house for eternity? How boring. Nothing to do except sex and food. That's true. So, my friend, I'm happy to have you here. I'm so glad that you left Islam. And if your father, who is a sheikh, yeah. he is upset because you left Islam. If you if you if you tell him that, he is willing to talk to me. I will be happy to have him, and I will speak to him with all the respect he deserves. Okay, but uh, I I will uh, let him know. Uh, but, but if I have uh, more question about Christianity, sure, sure, you can always contact me, my friend. You are welcome, Omar. You, uh, it was nice and pleasure yeah. to meet you. you are uh, where where here or here, here yeah? I, oh, when I go on uh, YouTube. Always call me when I go on yeah. YouTube, and after you text me first because sometimes we don't take a call if we are busy or talking to somebody else, right? So text me, and okay. uh, if I am live and uh, we can take calls, I will be happy to talk to you again. All right. Okay. Okay. Happy, Thank you very happy, much. You're welcome. I'm, I'm really glad to talk to you. You are a very Thank nice you. gentleman, and I, I respect you. Uh, I respect. Yeah, you and, and I appreciate your work too, actually. Yeah, welcome, my friend. God bless. Thank you very much. And we'll pray yeah, thank for you. Bye-bye. And I ask all the Christians to pray to Omar and to his family to understand what he a decision he made. And I pray for him, too, that he will see, see the truth better and better in getting closer. And soon he will accept the Messiah as his own Savior. And then life is never as before. You have a new life with the Messiah, and you will be a reborn again. And you will not know what does that mean until you live that again, my friend. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Omar, for having Thank you very much, uh, Christian. Take care. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Do we have any uh, Muslim would like to leave Islam or want to debate me? <clears throat> You know, there is some men, uh, some uh, Muslim, some even not Muslim, not necessarily Muslim. They want to marry a woman. She is from the Western countries, so she can get them visa and they go. I received now a message in uh, in Pal talk about a woman. She is uh, speaking about the same thing. But this is not all the Muslims they do. You might find somebody, you know, people, they have needs. And... Uh, you might find somebody he is uh, uh, 20 years old he is willing to marry him someone she is 60 years old just in order to get a visa and to come to uh, Germany or France or USA you know better you are smarter than this so don't be silly and don't be stupid and don't do a mistake you will pay a regret for it uh, I mean 
somebody live in a country have a 300 million people yet cannot find one man and you find your man in Afghanistan I don't know that's weird Unless like it's me like my mom she said I am the most handsome person in the whole world by the way all mothers they say that including the mother of a, of a monkey hmm? I mean why you wanna why why a woman she would have a long uh, far distance relationship with someone where where in the end of the world and why what now you have to give them a visa and supposedly you were married. You did not even see him. You did not even sit with him for five years. And obviously, 99.99%, he just want to get a citizenship or a visa from you so he can come to the country you are in. Why is not trying to date someone she live in Africa? Why all of them, they want to date women who live in uh, Europe or in uh, the West or rich countries, right? Hmm. The answer is very simple. Do we have any Abdul? <coughs> Anyone? Do we have any Muslim here? Clear my doubt about the Trinity. There is no doubt about the Trinity. The Trinity is very simple. You see, first of all, if you believe that God is Almighty, then why we call Him Almighty if He cannot be Almighty? So, if God He is in three person, is that because He is limited or because He is Almighty? If it is not possible for God to be God in three person, that means it's not possible for Him to be God. Let us make it simple. Let us say there is a there is God, whatever his name. Forget about the God of the Christians. And he exists, he is true God. But he have he is in one million person. That that's it. This is how he is. Either you accept that he is almighty, and he is, you know, this is how he is, and he is capable of being what he, he wants to be, or you say he is limited and he cannot. As an example, I will show you what I mean. The Quran says. How Allah can has a son have a son, but yet he don't have a girlfriend But what does that mean think carefully with me The Muslim they claim that Allah is Almighty God But this Almighty God he cannot have a wife unless he have a girlfriend Okay, that's mean he is limited. He is not Almighty God This is a chapter 6 Verse number 101, how Allah can have a son if he have no girlfriend? The translation here says a wife, doesn't say wife in Arabic, it says sahiba. Okay, that's mean this God is limited because he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Okay, the God of the Christians, he made Mary have a son, yet she don't have a boyfriend. Right? You know it says girlfriend by the way it doesn't say wife this is a this is a false translation anyone who speak Arabic here we go the word here in Arabic is sahiba ask any Muslim any, anyone what sahiba mean sahiba mean a girlfriend actually if you change the translate translator the translation will change let it change the translator let us see all right away you will see whatever translation Yusuf Ali you see here it says concert you see it it's a girlfriend. How Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? So when I say how can he, guys, when I when Allah supposedly talking, and he say how can he, what can mean? Anyone knows what can mean? Can mean ability. Is that correct? We are reading English. How can? What when we say how can what does that mean? We are questioning the ability, is that correct? Okay, so Allah Himself in the Quran is questioning his ability, not me. It's not the Christians who is fabricating things. Allah saying in his logic, how can he, which means how can I have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? 
So the God of Islam, he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. The God of the Christians, when we speak about the Trinity, he do not need a girlfriend to have a son. <laughs> and here you see the limitation because the Muslim they say to us, you cannot compare between Allah and the human. Allah Himself comparing Himself to us by saying, How can he have a son without having a girlfriend? This is something happened to, to people, to me and you. I cannot, and you cannot. Like if you are a female, you cannot have a, 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 a child without a male. If I am a male, I cannot have a child without a female. But this has happened to a human. Allah himself is the one who speak about himself as a human. And he claimed that he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So the Trinity is very simple. God in three person. The same as we speak about the water. It can be steam, it can be ice, it can be liquid. One. It is still water. Right? Isn't it still water, guys? Isn't it the water as ice is water? Isn't it the water as steam is water? Isn't it the water as liquid is water? Everything around us in this life is based on number three. Even the water itself is H2O. Fingerprint of the crea creator. What is the golden ratio of the beauty? If you study a little bit, you can search about the golden ratio. Golden ratio is one to two. Even that is a three, which means anything is in the nature is based in golden ratio it's in, in based on the trees the flowers anything anything is based on the golden ratio trinity even if you want to make a beautiful building if you break the golden ratio the building will be ugly that is the finger of uh, the, the the fingerprint of god Uh, Ali Bukhari, uh, we, we don't have time for a stupid talk here. This is a warning for you. And no, Catholic, Catholic are not evil. That's a lie. I don't like stupid talk in my present. You can speak when I am not here about stupidity. If not the Catholic, all of you will be Abdul by now. It is the Catholic who defend you and protect you from Islam. So stop being stupid. Do we have any Muhammad in here? Anyone? Who is a Muhammad and he is proud about Islam? Hello? You know, I, I sometimes I, I think about converting to Islam, but I'm scared. I mean, Muhammad, he promised me that my wife, she will have one mile ass. I mean, imagine you sleep next to a woman, her, mile, his, her ass alone is one mile. What if she farted and I'm not wearing a mask and there's no oxygen next to me? What if there is a cigarette and there is a light uh, fire, like uh, somebody is smoking a cigarette? Do you know that farting is a flammable? She will make you a barbecue. You will be burned alive. One mile ass? Why one mile? I mean, bigger is better. What about 65 inch, 65 mile TV uh, ass? I mean, don't you, can't you think, Muhammad, that Muhammad is ex exaggerating with his lies? Not only he lie, he exaggerate. Her ass is one mile. Why? I mean, what I would do exactly with this ass? And by the way, I invite you, all of you, in the weekend to do hiking over the ass of my coming wife. And boring, her ass is so smooth. And I warn you, if you fail in the valley, you know where exactly. No one can get you out unless Her Majesty, she fart. 
and if she farted I guarantee you she will make you break the zone of the earth you will go to the space especially if she fought and she is sleeping in her belly what is this this is a prophet of God and this is how prophet he speak I will give you a big ass huh why a human brain is not mentioned in the Quran? That's a good question. No human brain is mentioned in the Quran. Vagina. Muhammad, he speaks the brain to the brain of the Arab Bedouin. All their life is about wine and vagina. So he spoke to their brain. Who said that it's not their brain? No, it's there. Hello. Even the Quran, by the way, described the boobs of the women. Hmm? I mean, Allah is, He likes too much details, man. Kawaibun Atraba. Read. What, uh, I mean, I, th this word, by the way, is very hard for me to read, so bear with me. Let me see. Volulu, volu, butos. This is always about the boobs. I mean, what kind of word this word is? Hey, hold on, let me pronounce it again. Vo, man, from now on, I will hate those breasts. This word alone make me don't even think about them. Forget it. I'm not going to read it. I will learn Chinese before I learn how to pronounce this word. So, what kind of God he says that? Hold on, hold on. Uh, and Andrew is teaching me. Hold on. Vol up toes. This is toes. Andrew, are you serious? You are saying to me that those women they will have vol up toes. What the heck? You must be kidding. No way. Are you serious about the toes thing? Vol up. Uh, um, what? The, how this happened? I thought the toes like is something in the in the foot. So, guys, in the heaven of Allah, we will have all up toes. Okay, it's good. Uh, I mean, uh, uh getting getting close. All right. So, uh. uh <clears throat> We we will get this in heaven, according to uh, the explanation of Brother uh, uh, Andro. Uh, uh, <clears throat> hey guys, you are confusing me. Is it toes or chose? What is that? I mean, vol vol up. Okay, you know, I prefer to learn English from Zakir Naik. Forget about it. Unbelievable. So the Quran, brother. I mean, the Quran is very, uh, very much into details. I mean, look at this. Uh, those breasts are big, by the way, to the point when those women, when they jump, they don't make normal noise. Like they make like boing, boing, boing. Like you know, it's like a balloon. You know, boing. boing. And by the way. Uh, I would love to have women like this around me in case like a flood happened because of those balloons we can survive we will never be drowned hmm? hello why well, you guys are laughing show respect what's wrong with you are you, you people are weird I mean seriously are weird I'm, I'm going to complain to my mom about you <clears throat> Do we have any Abdul have any comment? Hmm? I have only one wife and she has nice toes. <laughs> Jack Brother Jack, don't give us more details, Jack. Come on, Jack, don't do that. Hello, Jack Sparrow. 
a brother Jack Sparrow he have in one wife and she have a nice toes only one toes Jack you she have one toes be honest with me one or two <laughs> unbelievable you are very funny what's wrong with those people do we have any Muhammad in here when I say something <coughs> Hmm? You know, once I was I was debating with a Muslim, and the guy he died laughing, literally he died laughing, and I said, oh, "Come on, stop doing that." <laughs> this, the, I mean, this guy he could not hold himself. He was so upset from me, by the way, uh, but he he could not hold himself, and he started laughing like crazy. And he said, I don't know how you do it, but you are killing me. I made him laugh at his prophet. I mean, you believe it? Unbelievable. So who is a Muslim when I give us a call, brother? I think if you are not going to get married, then you should get a dog. I look, this guy. Ah, guys, we have Dr. Phil with us. Dr. Phil, he is giving me advice. Okay, hold on. Dr. Phil, he said. Uh, I think if you are not going to get married, then you should get a dog, just not a black dog, because I was never will kill it. Uh, I mean, how in the world a human being exchange a wife by a dog? That's not right. <laughs> oh, really? uh, my friend, both of them they will drive you crazy. The first one who want to go out for a walk and the second one did she want to go back home she want to do shopping which one you choose hello imagine you are a Mohammedan and you have four women and they have four mother you have four mother in law unbelievable so beautiful so how many of you are here his first time? Don't forget to subscribe. And if you subscribe, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because if you is if you subscribe to Christian Prince, he is a kafir, and then you unsubscribe, Allah will give you blessing, brother. Twice. So think about it. You subscribe to me, you lose one credit. You unsubscribe, you get two credit. I mean, how how easy to fool Allah? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, this this religion is really mad. So if you do bad, Allah will, will take one credit. If you do good, Allah will give you two credit, double. Okay, let's do bad and erase the bad and we get double. What? The... I wish the bank can do the same. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammad in here? Anyone? All right. Look like you guys. We are out of. Uh, hold on. I see some text in you in Bell Talk. Uh, somebody is asking me about the two sons of uh, of Adam. Uh, just remind me, please. Next time we go live on air, we to talk about it, and I will be happy to talk about it. Okay. Uh, I just received a message from Omar. He says, you make me realize more about Islam. Thank you. And we know that he left Islam. And it's really amazing that his father is a sheikh. And, you know, Islam did not take long before it collapsed in his eyes. Uh, I'm trying to see if we have any Muslims. Okay, look like we are out of any Mohammedan for today. Did you guys have a good time? Did we have a good time? I hope we learned something good. And uh, don't forget to download this video because as usual, we, we don't keep them long because the Sharia law of YouTube, they chase me, they hate me. I don't know why, unbelievable, you know? So please download it and share it with your friends. Download it, post it again in YouTube, in your Facebook, wherever you can, all right? 
because uh, people who do not know they learn from those examples you know they see uh, they see what really the truth about Islam and here we don't we are not perfectly correct and I'm, and I'm a person who speak naturally with you I don't fake things I love the way I love I talk the way I talk and I don't care who like it who don't and uh, you know I know that sometimes like Christians they say um, we Christian we didn't should not speak like that and like this I don't care what people think my friend this is how I am and uh, as you see I'm I'm able to help many people to uh, to accept the Messiah uh, but uh, uh, if you're weak and do better well do your best I mean let us have a good competition you see somebody give him a hug I don't give hugs hugs I do boxing and it work but not violence for sure I'm talking boxing in in, in being tough you know going straight to the point in the same time you have to be gentle if if the person speak to me in a gentle way I am gentle as you see like we just spoke to Omar right but if a person he is a liar he will play games I will not have mercy with him I will corner him and I will get him busted so I want to say guys thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Saturday uh, with your family and don't forget to married men to be good to your wives be decent don't be cheater appreciate what you have for those who don't appreciate what they have they will it's going to be taken from them and women be good to your husband you do not know what you will miss if you lose him he might sound bad to you but there's trust me there's a lot more worse bad out there so after all you will be lucky to have the man you have and most of us we do not know how priceless what we have until we lose it like a tooth in our you know our in our mouth we think it's there it's just there right but the fact it's priceless and you will not know how painful it is and how much pain can come from such a tooth so let us appreciate what we have because appreciation is the secret of happiness a person who don't appreciate he will never enjoy anything a person who eat little piece of bread and he appreciate it he is a lot more happy than a person who have all the food open on front of him in a table who don't appreciate happiness secret is very simple appreciation and I appreciate my Lord for sending me the good ones of you to be in my way even the bad ones because by his help we can make them see how good he is and they come to him so I want to say thank you may the Lord bless you and if you like to learn more about Islam you can go and read my books you can find them in many languages we have in Spanish we have in uh, uh, in English we have in German uh, we have in all uh, many many languages actually and those books really can be very helpful for you your family uh, because it's full of handy reference uh, so you know your children they will not be fooled and they will not be lied to the Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance and what we do here my friend we fight ignorance thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and Islam is false thank you very much take care